Many people pass by the beautiful mural on the second floor of Dover City Hall every day, but most don't realize its special history. This Thanksgiving mural was painted in 1938 by acclaimed artist Gladys Brannigan. It was commissioned as part of the Federal Art Project, a program started in 1935 that was part of President Roosevelt's New Deal. The Federal Art Project created jobs for artists during the Great Depression and funded thousands of works of public art across America. It was during this period that Brannigan painted several murals as part of the project in New Hampshire. She and her husband, Robert, lived in both New York City and New Hampshire, including in Portsmouth and Dover. In New Hampshire, Brannigan painted murals at the University of New Hampshire, Dover City Hall, Keene State College, and at the former Portsmouth Junior High School. Tragically, the four murals she created in Portsmouth showing scenes from the city's history have been lost. But her Thanksgiving mural in Dover endures over 80 years later. Brannigan's mural at Dover City Hall depicts colonial settlers and Native Americans together on the riverbank. We see settlers fishing, building boats, and trading furs with the indigenous people. The Native Americans are shown teaching the settlers how to plant and cook corn, representing the spirit of friendship and cooperation. Brannigan thoroughly researched local records to portray this community effort accurately. Many of her initial sketches and notes are preserved at the University of New Hampshire, speaking to her dedication to historical fidelity in her murals. So this Thanksgiving season, when you visit Dover City Hall, stop to appreciate this artistic glimpse into our past. Brannigan's mural remains a meaningful tribute to the communal hope and unity that shaped the origins of our holiday and a testament to the value of public art. Thank you.